Hi everyone, this is AJ and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new movie review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at and talking about the new DC Universe animated movie, Green Lantern Beware My Power. So let's talk about it. Okay, as a comic book collector, I do like my animated DC movies. DC, um, their animated universe is fantastic. They do a lot of really good content. Um, better than their live action, I, sh I would say. Um, it's really, really good. So, obviously, it stands without reason that I'm going to watch Green Lantern Beware My Power. Now, as a comic book, Green Lantern isn't a comic book that I've really read too often. Um, I'm not a big fan of the character in that sense. Um, primarily because, as comic books go, I find it hard to digest a, a sort of sci-fi and um, hero mix in comic book form. However, in film, on on TV, I can take it. So, arguments say Guardians of the Galaxy. I can't digest the comic book, but the films are fantastic. Um, just because I can't really do... I struggle with sci-fi in comics. That's, that's it. I'm more sort of um, rooted towards the sort of ground level hero. So that's my sort of past with Green Lantern in, in comic form. Obviously, I've seen the Ryan Reynolds film and I've seen Green Lantern in other animated projects and, and things like that. So this film comes at us directed by Jeff um, Wormesta, who has previously directed 37 episodes of the Guardians of the Galaxy animated TV series and... Just recently, the Justice Society World War II um, animated DC Universe movie. Um, so, good credentials there. Um, the primary characters in this are John Stewart, um, the newer Green, one of the newer Green Lanterns, Green Arrow, Martian Manhunter, Adam Strange, Hulk Girl. Um, yeah, so I am going to tread into spoiler territory. So. If that's not for you then please switch off and maybe come back because yes now first off i will say that i can see that this film is gone possibly going to upset fans of hal jordan hal jordan is a is a earlier incarnation of the green lantern um i know he was a very popular green lantern i think ryan reynolds was hal jordan in the film but Obviously, um, John Stewart is the newer Green Lantern, um, Green Lantern of, of um, American African descent, you know, um, uh, and yeah, so there we go. So this film opens in the past with John Stewart um, during his time in the military, and there's an event that occurs, and we get a little bit of flashback for it, and these flashbacks do continue throughout the course of the film, um, on and off. Not overly regular, but they do. Um, and we jump forward to present day and we come to find out that he's the sort of man lost in the world. He's suffering with a PTSD. Um, yeah, but he still stands up for the smaller person. And, and this is getting him into, not getting him into trouble, but he's finding himself in scenarios that maybe he shouldn't really be in, shall we say, um, whilst looking after the smaller person. Um... <sighs> A ship crashes with one of the Guardians on board and they have brought a ring searching out John Stewart because this is who the ring has chosen. Um, so it knows where to go and he gets the ring and gets taken onto this adventure. He gets taken into space by the ring to the Justice League um, headquarters, the one that they have orbiting the Earth. Um, there he gets caught up in an adventure with, well, Martian Manhunters there and Green Arrow. And him and Green Arrow go off on this adventure to find out what's happened to Hal Jordan because it comes to, to, to light that it's actually Hal Jordan's ring that, that Jon Stewart has got. And this leads to this, this big adventure where there's this, this battle between the race that Adam Strange comes from um, Hulk Girl comes from the other race. It's a war going on between these two races. Adam Strange is in, is brought into it. Hulk Girl's brought into it, um, and this big convoluted plot occurs 
where we come to find out that Sinestro's behind it. They then find Hal Jordan. Hal Jordan's not dead as they suspected he was, and as history would say that he is. Um, but he's been corrupted by Sinestro. He's got the. He's got. Uh, 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 he wants power. He wants to be a god, essentially. And this is where I say that people who are fans of Hal Jordan may not like this bit. Um, so, yeah, and, and to, by the end of the film... What can I say without spoiling it, really? Um, Green Arrow does something that Green Arrow... doesn't sit right with Green Arrow. Um, I'm going to leave it there. I don't want to spoil it for you, that ending... The ending's good, I will say that. Now, the film itself, um, it started off well because it's more Earth-based. Then, for me, and this is just for me, because that, that I've not got an affinity for the Green Lantern character, kind of tops, drops off a bit and then comes back towards the end. We have a fantastic ending, fantastic uh, sacrifices are made, all this sort of a thing. Um, the story didn't go the way I thought it would go, which is a surprise. Um, so, yeah, it, it was a, it was decent enough, but didn't grip me as much as what I'd hoped. That's the only thing I can say. But I can see people liking it. I can see people being annoyed with the the Hal Jordan stuff. Um, I will say that the the music was very very dull within the film. Especially I noticed it more so towards the latter um, third of the film. The music was just very very boring and. And substandard, not very good. The animation I liked; it was, you know, a decent enough animation. Um, but yeah, so there we go. Just my thoughts on this film. Um, not necessarily for me, um, as animated films go. Um, definitely, might be divisive in what it does with that historic character. Um, but overall, it, it was okay. It was okay. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to leave it there. Um, let me know your thoughts on this film when you've seen it or whether you are going to see it, whether you're, you know, who's your favourite Green Lantern? Um, you know, I do, I'm aware of the other Green Lanterns that came. I could forget his name. I'm the bowl cut, um, sort of ginger haired. I can't remember the character's name for the life of me. Someone tell me, please, down below, comments, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all later. Take care, all, and goodbye.